Oh, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 28th of June to July 4th. And this is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single person that watches it. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Virgo, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge for this coming week is the Ace of Pentacles. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Hangman in reverse. Okay, so your challenge, Virgo, has a lot to do with a new opportunity that is coming into your life. It is being handed to you. It could also be an opportunity that you're giving someone. We're going to clarify this and see. In the recent past, Virgo, you have the Nine of Cups, you have the Four of Wands, and you have the Fool. There was a really satisfying situation here in the past that came into your life. Lots of satisfaction here. Um, you're like, yeah, I'm going to move into this brand new beginning. Could have been a relationship, marriage here. Maybe you even moved in with someone here in the recent past. We're going to clarify this and see. In the present moment, you have the Justice, the Two of Wands, and you have the Ten of Wands. There's definitely a situation here in the present moment that's being set right. There could be a court proceeding. There could be some sort of justice that's coming in for you in the present moment. I do feel this may be pertaining to a divorce or a separation that's happening. A lot of you in the present moment are putting in work, okay? And there may be a lot of responsibilities here when it comes to this situation. There's something here about you balancing responsibilities or... Um, some sort of work with someone here in the present moment. Okay, we're going to clarify and see. Now, in the near future, Virgo, you have the Page of Cups, you have the Page of Swords, and you have the Knight of Pentacles. I do see an apology coming in um, in the near future for you. There's definitely a lot of research, a lot of information that uh, you may need to get or you may need to gather here before you decide to proceed and move forward because I do see you moving forward but at a slow pace, okay? We're gonna clarify this and see. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Hanged Man here in reverse, Seven of Swords in reverse, the Lovers in reverse, the World in reverse, Three of Pentacles in reverse, the Chariot, the Star, the Three of Swords, and the Ace of Swords in reverse with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Some sort of situation led to maybe a third party situation, possibly, um, a lack of equal give and take. I feel like there was a situation here where you may have been taking more than you were giving, okay? Or maybe you were giving more than you were um, receiving, vice versa. Someone here was giving too much and not getting anything back. And there was always this lack of truth or clarity in this situation. This is what may have led to um, pain or sadness here in the past with you and this person. We have the star in reverse, the chariot in reverse, and the three of cup, uh, the three of pentacles in reverse. Something here stopped moving forward in the past. The plans that you had maybe um, thought you had with this person kind of fell apart. Things stopped working between you and this person. Uh, there was definitely some sort of unfinished business between you and this person. Definitely a lot of deception in a relationship in a marriage in the past and this may be what is propelling you uh virgo to completely move forward from this situation someone here is deciding now that you know there's no no longer a need to overthink this situation it's like now it's time to take action here someone here is deciding to take action um, because they see some sort of situation for what it truly is now okay so let's get into your reading virgo and let's see what's going on Okay, so Virgo, the first card I'm going to clarify for you is your challenge, which is the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Magician, the Five of Pentacles, and the Fool. Okay. There's definitely a situation that you're being called to leave, okay, that you're being called to completely abandon in order to have a new beginning. There's something here about you putting something behind your um behind you. Okay. You are manifesting a new opportunity. You are manifesting a new beginning. Your challenge has a lot to do with letting something go that you know is no longer growing. It no longer has any fruit to bear. There's no point in 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 continuing to try to work on something here that 
really doesn't have any purpose of doing that okay so brand new beginning that's coming up for you your challenge is to accept or give an offer that initiates some sort of new beginning in your life okay now in the recent past you have the fool here i'm going to clarify the fool in the recent past Fool is clarified by the Five of Cups, you have the Six of Swords, and you have the Seven of Swords. Someone here in the recent past wanted to have a new beginning with you. Could have been an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, maybe a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or an Aries, okay? This person wanted to have a new beginning with you. Issue here that I'm seeing in the recent past was there was a lot of deception. There was a lot of lies. There was a lot of things that... Um, were happening on the surface, you know, within this new beginning, even though this person, um, I was going to say Sagittarius, some of you are dealing with Sagittarius, even though this person may have come across very deceptive towards you, they still brought you Virgo, a lot of happiness. They brought you a lot of fulfillment. That's what it's showing me here. But for many of you, you jumped into the situation without really thinking about it. Maybe that's what happened here. Let me clarify the nine of cups. So the Nine of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups and we have the Three of Cups. Yeah. There's something here about, you know, this person could have been your person here in the past, really felt um, a lot of satisfaction with you, felt like you were the one they wanted to be with you. But even though you were in this connection with this person, there were still issues. There was still some sort of energy that this person, they either felt restricted with you or they felt like they couldn't really be the, their true selves here in the past. And that may have been what led to deception because I'm seeing you living with someone or being like in a very strong commitment here with someone um, that you really couldn't trust in the past. Okay, this is what it's telling me. Now, in the present moment, you want justice, okay? Or your person wants justice. Someone here is like, no, you know, we need to bring things back into balance here. So we're going to clarify the justice and see what that mean, what, what that message is for you. First, I'm going to clarify the two of wands, Virgo. There is a separation in the present moment that's happening for many of you. Tell me about the two of wands. So the two of wands is clarified by the three of pentacles, the seven of wands and the king of pentacles. You really want to work things out with someone in the present moment. You really want to work things out. You really want to work with this person, but they are just being super resistant towards you in the present moment. Fire sign, Leo Sagittarius, Aries. The reason why this person's being very, um, the reason Virgo, why this person's being very, defensive with you in the present moment is because this person feels like they've been doing everything on their own okay uh ten of wands and that's why the situation may be coming to an end for you because this person is like they just don't want to be bothered this person is also in the present moment it's a very direct message for you they feel like you're not you don't care or you're not paying attention or you're not sharing your resources with them there's something here about you wanting to work with this person but at the same time you're not it's like you're not telling this person or you're not saying something. There's a reason why this person's being resistant. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is clarified by the High Priestess, the Six of Swords, and the Emperor. This person's deciding to move away from this situation now because it's been too difficult. Intuitively, their intuition saying, you know what, it's time for me to go, Six of Swords, I need to find stability. The reason why this person's defensive towards you is because they don't really feel like you've brought stability into their life. Even though you may feel like they ha that you have, this person doesn't feel that way. That's why they're moving away from the situation. Okay. This may be something that's resulting in um, a court case, maybe a divorce here with the justice card. Tell me about the justice in the present moment. Something here needs to be set right with this person. So the justice card is clarified by the nine of wands, the six of cups and the eight of pentacles. This person really, um, whoever I get, I'm getting fire sign, Leo Sagittarius, Aries, maybe a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Libra in the present moment. There is some sort of, um, you know, separation that's happening here. Someone here is releasing the memories that they once had um, within this situation. Okay. I don't feel like this person completely wants to give up on it. They are open to working on it, but it's not something that you and this person can work out together. And the reason why I say that is because the justice card is here. It's like someone here is being forced to kind of wake up to this reality through the court system or through the justice system here. 
because you and this person don't see eye to eye. That's what's happening in the present moment, okay? So in the near future, I do see an apology possibly coming in with the Page of Cups. We're going to clarify and see. First, I want to see someone here is watching, spying on you, or you're spying on someone here. Tell me more about the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords is clarified by the Page of Wands, the Lovers, and the Four of Pentacles. You're still holding on to this situation, believing that maybe it can possibly move into a new direction, okay? Um, I'm seeing somebody here, and I feel like this is you, moving towards something. Tell me more about the Page of Cups in the near future. So the Page of Cups is clarified by the Page of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. I definitely feel like in the near future, you and a specific person, maybe a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, there's an apology here on both ends. Something here doesn't end up really going the way that you thought it would go. And the reason why in the near future, Virgo, you decide to start moving a lot slower is because maybe there was a situation in the past that you kind of just jumped into without really thinking about it. And maybe this is what you're learning now, especially with all the drama and the resistance that you're receiving in the present moment. So I do see an apology. I do see something here wrapping up for you, um, but you still remain holding on to it because maybe you think it's going to change. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles for Virgo in the future. So the Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Wands, the Justice, and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you want to give something to this person in the near future, but what I'm getting here is it's like you're being forced to do that, okay? through some, There's something about a court proceeding here. There's something here about being forced to set things back into balance and back into motion because somebody here, fire sign, Leo Sagittarius, Aries, they feel like they're carrying the burden alone. They don't feel like you're giving to the situation, okay? This is what it's telling me here. So there's something here about an apology. There's something here about trying to get back on um get back on the same level um not back on the same level but kind of seeing things from both perspectives you and this person need to see things from each other's perspectives and it may be difficult right to do that right now is what it's telling me so let's get some advice what is the advice here complicated reading for you virgo okay Mm -hmm. so the advice here is the three of swords the three of pentacles and the chariot there's something here you need to accept somebody here is hurt i don't know if this is you or your person um you want to work with this person you want things to work out between you and them but i think virgo what the advice here is is that in order to move forward which is something that you want you need to also acknowledge the pain that this person's going through you know um, I don't think this person's going to want to work things out with you, Virgo, if you're not acknowledging that. Okay. Um, there's something here about you acknowledging pain, recognizing it. It doesn't mean you have to dwell in it, but recognizing it, maybe talking about it. And then this may be something that allows you to finally move forward. Okay. So Virgo, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you on the next one.